The South African Department of Trade, Industry and Competition will be hosting the United States of America's African Growth and Opportunity Forum for 2023. Anticipated at the summit is the presence of American President Joe Biden, who is scheduled to travel to South Africa for the event. AGOA provides eligible sub-Saharan African countries with duty-free access to the U.S. market for over 1,800 products. In addition to the more than 5,000 products that are eligible for duty-free access under the Generalized System of Preferences program. AGOA was approved by the U.S. Congress in May 2000 under President Bill Clinton. The stated purpose of this legislation is to assist the economies of sub-Saharan Africa and to improve economic relations between the United States and the region. This year's summit comes amid escalating genocidal conflict against the people of Gaza and the broader Palestinian population by the Israeli government that has been enjoying unwavering financial, political and military backing from the U.S. government, a stance that was recently reaffirmed emphatically by the President Joe Biden. The South African government has been in the forefront and unequivocal on its support and solidarity with the people of Palestine, raising a question on why Pretoria will be playing host to the President of the United States and representatives whose country is the most ardent supporter of apartheid Israel. Anti-apartheid activist Dr. Alan Busak feels the South African government should do more than just release statements and should be more fervent in displaying solidarity with Palestine, considering the two countries' long-standing special relationship. It means very little, Julie. If we only stop at making statements, everybody is making statements one way or the other. South Africa, with its claim on our special relationship, um, with uh, the, the Palestinian people in their struggle. A long-standing, historical, emotional relationship. I mean, Ms. Pandor is a Muslim, so a South African Minister of Foreign Affairs is also a Muslim. It's that extra binding together that we have. And so it seems to me we ought to be more fervent than anybody else because of these factors. We have Mandela's words ringing in our ears every single day that, Palestine, that South Africans will not be completely free unless Palestinians are completely free. We have all of that. Following the end of apartheid, the United States and South Africa have developed a strategically, politically and economically beneficial relationship. U.S. goods and services trade with South Africa total at an estimated $25.5 billion in 2022. Exports were $9.3 billion, imports were $16.2 billion, making the U.S. South Africa's third biggest trading partner.